Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Betsy, and today we're in Abilene, Kansas. And one of the things we stumbled across as we came in was the Greyhound Hall of Fame. Hope you enjoy our little walkthrough tour of it today. Chris and I are at the Greyhound Hall of Fame in Abilene. We invite you to join us as we go and check out what's here. The Greyhound is what's called a sight hound. They do everything by what they can see first. That's their leading uh, sense. And their history traces all the way back to ancient Egypt, Greece, and Rome. So they're probably one of the oldest dog breeds. Well, Greyhound Racing has been around in the U.S. for about three generations. And I forget the exact dates from the video we just watched, but pre-World War, uh, post-World War I, right around that time, through World War II, and they're still racing at present day. And this is the backside of one of the racing lures that were used in Daytona Beach. It's a skill saw racing lure, and it performed flawlessly for 39 years. And what they do call it a rabbit, if you look at this thing, it just looks like a giant fuzzy flying bone. We're finding all the history about the greyhounds. Pretty interesting for those of you who knew us before we hit the road. You probably remember our Greyhounds. Um, from the Northwest, we had Sela. And then when we lived in Hot Springs, South Dakota, we had Leah, another rescued racer. Once we hit the road full time, we decided it was time for no more pets. But we are certainly enjoying our visit here, learning more about the breed, the history here in the U.S. And we even got to meet a couple of retired racers. And Ginger even hopped up and posed for us. Since we used to have greyhounds, it's interesting to see the born to run how the greyhound farms would operate, and of course the importance of identification and proper nutrition. And just like all athletes, they have a specific diet, so their nutrition is very carefully controlled and monitored, as is their care. So here's what happened July 29th, 1959 at the Mile High Track, which is in Denver, Colorado. They had nine dogs in the field. Bill did it, Curly Fred, Jaguar, Bulldog, Looking Back, Lottie Poison, Sir Jack, Lower IT, or Lower It, and All Witch. And here's what happened that day. They finished in the exact same order of the numbers they were in assigned. So they finished one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. One of those things that's like, yeah, what are the odds of that? Well, after all, this is the Greyhound Hall of Fame. And what would an athletic Hall of Fame be without a section that honors the athletes themselves, the greyhounds, their trainers, owners, etc. And here's a little trivia for you. Did you know that a greyhound can run as fast as 40 to 45 miles an hour? They have clocked them at 45 miles an hour and they do that in just three strides. Well, anyway, I sure hope you enjoyed this little peek at 
uh, the Greyhound Hall of Fame. If you're ever in Abilene, Kansas, it is definitely worth a stop, and it's just kind of kitty corner from the Eisenhower Presidential Library. So anyway, thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do please give us a thumbs up, and who knows, as we go, maybe someday we'll see you on the road. Safe travels to you.